Hello, welcome to my mom's kitchen. Today I will show you how to make a yummy dessert. Halva with the butternut squash. Here's what you need to make it. Before we start, we would like to say a big thank you to David and Greg's family for sharing this beautiful butternut squash from their farm. After thinking a lot, we decided to make an Indian sweet halva with butternut squash. So let's see how we are going to make it. Cut the butternut into small chunks so it becomes easy to handle while we peel and grate. So we just need to slightly peel the squash. Scoop out the seeds and grate the squash. If you want, you can chop it with a food processor too. Once all the grating is done, let's start cooking it. Place a wide pan on medium to high heat. Add two tablespoons of ghee or unsalted butter. Next, we will add the grated squash and cook it. It would take around 10 to 15 minutes for it to be softened. We are not waiting for all the grating to be done to start but adding little at a time so it becomes easy to mix or cook the squash. Adding the last lot of grated squash and cooking for 10 more minutes. Once the squash has cooked and reached a nice mashy consistency, we will be adding 1 fourth cup of sugar and cook it till the sugar melts and incorporates well, say about 10 more minutes, as we need to cook it with the sugar. Keep stirring in between to avoid burning the squash. Next, mom is adding a can of sweetened condensed milk and bring it together and cook for another 5 minutes. After we have poured the condensed milk, we will have to keep on stirring it. Now at this point, we will be adding another 1 tablespoon of ghee and 1 teaspoon cardamom powder and mix it well. Finally, we will add 3 4th cup of milk powder and mix it well again and cook it for another 2 to 3 minutes. Soon our portion would be ready. Simple halva but still it will be incomplete to have the halva without fried fruits and nuts. So for mom and dad as always a little fried fruits and nuts. For that add 1 tablespoon of ghee to the pan and fry 1 4th cup of raw cashews and raisins and mix it in the halva. Usually this is done at the very beginning in the same pan but there's two other things. If you add it at the end you can remove some portion to give to kids who have nut allergies and the other thing get a good crunch in between your halva. Mm. So simple and satisfying dessert. Finishing it off with a handful of fried nuts. Yum! Mm, look at this amazing halwa. I can't wait to try it. Look at it. Wow. This is amazing. It's <laughs> all good. Can I get you the... Slightly chewy, healthy, and yum. Just amazing. It's the best thing you can have. If you like, you can have it cold, hot, but I prefer it hot on a nice winter's day. Goodbye. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to try.